What is happening guys? Cowboy here and that is right it is time for some Code Vein. So Bandai Namco brought me on out to San Francisco to play the current build of the game. Got roughly 90 minutes of what's essentially the start of the game coming your way today to give you an idea of what it is like. Super excited for this. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. So this was essentially a uh, event edition build. I'd imagine they're going to have something similar, probably at E3, to let people have some hands-on with the game. Um, you know, like I said, I already did a, a separate video on some gameplay impressions, my overall thoughts about it, as well as the producer interview. Uh, and the main gist of these videos, these are essentially what, what's going to be the start of the game. And so I wanted to just, you know, bring this footage to you guys, uh, adding a little bit of post-commentary after the fact. First thing, of course, going to be spending a bunch of time in the character builder. And as you can see, they went pretty damn in-depth here. You can do all kinds of stuff with the hair, with the color of the skin, making a... Uh, edgy cowboy here with the, with the blonde hair. Gotta give him some highlights. You know, just thinking back, I didn't even check hairstyles. I was so just like, I want to get into the game, I didn't even go super in-depth, but I was, uh, I was watching some people mess around with characters, and there had to be like 50 plus different hairstyles to choose from, it's ridiculous. Like this is, this is probably the most in-depth level of character creation I've ever seen in a Souls-like. Uh, I mentioned it in the, the impressions video, you know, we don't have a uh, full face modular uh, you know, we can't like change proportions like we could in something like Black Desert, but still for a make your own character for an action RPG This this is some pretty high tier level of customization This is something I'd expect out of like an MMO or Skyrim or something like that So definitely was was uh, pretty impressed to see that because there's I mean you can just see here like look at the sheer amount of freaking eyebrows You have to choose from it's it's just insane Make your perfect waifu. Even increase the titty size. And then of course, you know, I had to give him the, the closest thing the game had to a cowboy hat. Unfortunately, my hair clips through it a little bit, but... See, it's basically Red Dead Redemption. Anime edition. Wait a sec. Over there. <clears throat> See you later. Sorry. Of course. Yeah. This is. What? What in the? Lead on. Nice to. There's just no way. No way. <laughs> We win. I wouldn't be so sh Leave the print. You were real over that way. You can forget. Well, may fortune come. Follow me. Ah! I hope the trip go- Not to see you around. I'm a little overwhelmed. Changing the poses. Like, this is the kind of shit I'd expect in, like, like Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you what look, you look like. like. That's right, waifu. Now, now. we can we finally, finally meet. meet. So this is something I talked about in the impressions video, but one of the big reasons they delayed the game for so long is they have completely revamped the intro. It's it's very much this tutorial, and it's going to go through and you know make sure that players understand everything 
involved in meet. how to play. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent in combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack. And you can see we have passives and up to eight yes, different blood codes at any given time. Reward. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The lost. You can drain Icor from the lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires i as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scanned. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. sums up the ranger blood code and training. Let us try one more blood code. 
Now, turn your gaze inward. That is what is called the Caster Blood Code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Nice, you learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? is a powerful gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in i is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Now, awaken and save the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce Vampire Waifu. Isn't she adorable? Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Tiggle babies. Honestly, my only regret about the event was I put on the cowboy hat, <laughs> and I can't see my character's face in, like, any of the cutscenes <laughs> because of the damn hat. So something to keep in mind when you guys finally get hands-on with the game is, uh, you know, if you want to see character expressions, might want to avoid the hat. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. So they had to delay the game six months to perfect those jiggle physics. Over there. It's dry, isn't it? We can go slowly. I am here with you.
just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. <laughs> Here, this is for you. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot! Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. On your feet! We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. Whoa, keep it down. Number three and four, newcomers too. Time to work. Check your gear and come up. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. I yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. 
But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Ugh. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Now we're finally getting started. Gonna beat people with my pipe. Just kidding, I, I don't actually use the pipe. I end up getting rid of it pretty fast. Always go back and start the tutorial. Trying to make this super friendly for new players. Well, should we set out? Sure, I can wait. Look at this guy. I'm checking menus and he's getting snippy with me already. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a girl that's still before you can get to real monsters. Or so I think. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. Survive. So I'm just trying out a couple of the attacks, the launch attack, the heavy attack. One of the things I didn't figure out until pretty much after the event is so uh, we have a, a stance called focus, and I talked about this the last time I played, but don't fall. you'll notice that yeah. oh, that's done. It's, it's kind of long. Uh, but you'll notice that little bar that's above my stamina, that's focus. It builds up as you is take some and deal there? damage. But once focus is active, that's when the launch attack finally works. I didn't realize it initially, but so you have like your heavy attack, your charged heavy, and then if focus is active, you can charge the heavy up to launch people up into the air Which way do and then do follow-up attacks. Here. 
fine, but really, <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. Which way do you think is better? Come in handy. Too cramped. Isn't there something else we could try? Oh, what's that? Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt?
<sighs> that could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. <laughs> you just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. So that's going to be it for now, but by the time you guys finish this video, guess what? Part 2 will be on up.